In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Android-based phone so it works with wireless Android Auto to the Pioneer DMHW 2770NX. The touchscreen operation you see here in this video applies to the Pioneer DMHW 2700NX and the Pioneer DMHW 2770NX. Alright, before we get started setting up wireless Android Auto, let's check a couple of settings on the in-dash receiver to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to touch the gears, and I want to scroll down to the bottom here to phone connectivity settings. And I want to make sure that Android Phone MSC is switched off. So right here with the white button, that is switched off. You do not want the blue. Uh, we'll switch that on. There it is. You do not want this blue. You want it switched over to white. And then we have the driving position. Now I'm making this video for North America and the US, so I want the left driving position, but if you live in an area that uses the driving position on the right, you can switch it over just by touching. And you can see it's on the right now, but we are gonna switch it back to left for this particular video. All right, so I've got MSC switched off and driving position to the left, that's what I want. We'll hit the X. And now let's go over to the phone and check a couple of settings. First thing I want to do here is scroll down to my settings and I want to check my network. And here you can see that I have the Wi-Fi switched on and I'm connected to a network right now and that's fine. That's just what I want. So we'll go back and then I'm going to go to Bluetooth and I'm going to pair a new device. So I want to pair with Bluetooth to the in-dash receiver. So we'll say pair a new device, and that searches for devices, and it'll find the DMHW2770 NACS here. That's this one. So we'll touch that. Now that will generate a pairing request, and here you can see 217656. That's the same number over here. So we'll say pair on the phone, and yes, on the in-dash receiver, and the two devices will be paired. And the receiver asks, do you want to start Android Auto? So yeah, let's start it. And now the two devices are connecting. This will just take a couple of moments and it will start Android Auto. Here we go, we're welcome to Android Auto. We'll say continue. And the Android Auto map shows up on the screen. Touch the white button here to get out to your apps with Android Auto. And we can close this up. All right, so I take a drive with my vehicle and now I'm gonna shut the vehicle off. All right, so I've shut the vehicle off, and when I come back to the vehicle, my phone is locked as well. So now I'm going to restart my vehicle because I want to go somewhere. So watch, I'm not going to touch the phone, and I'm not going to touch the in-dash receiver. When I start the vehicle, the in-dash receiver begins its power-up process, and in a few seconds, it'll come up to its warning screen. Here's the warning screen. You can say OK here if you want, but you don't have to. In a few seconds, that'll go away and begin its automatic connection to Android Auto. So the in-dash receiver and the phone have found each other and made the automatic connection for Android Auto, and I didn't have to touch the phone or the receiver to make that happen. Okay, so what do you do if they don't automatically find one another every time you get in the vehicle? You might have to do something a little bit more manually there. So we're on the AM FM radio, for example, right now. Let's go out to the home screen, touch the home screen, and we have two telephones on the top left side there. Let's touch those. And that brings up my phone list. I'm gonna choose the phone that I want to connect with Android Auto here. In this case, it's the Pixel 4, so we'll touch that. And that automatically brings up Android Auto for us. 